Hello and welcome to this training tutorial. This covers probe calibration. Okay, so first of all, we're going to choose the probe setup icon to get to your probe manager. Now you notice we have a lot of probes in here already. Um, so we're going to save these first. So click on this icon, save probe list to file, and we can give it a file name, which is normally the date. It's a good tag to give it, and this is saved as an XML file. Okay, then I want to clear all these probes, so I'm going to highlight the top one with a left click, then hold down shift and highlight the last one, and come up to the top here for the trash can to delete all these files. This takes a few moments. Okay, so we have this button here to build a new probe. Now, because we've got magnetic plates, we've got the option of a camera or a probe. So I'm going to choose probe plate magnetic. Then it knows it has an RTP probe on there, so then we're going to choose the A or B angle. So click on B, choose B0 for straight down. Next, we need to build the probe. So we have uh, various modules, so choose a relevant one. In this case, it's standard module. And then we need to choose the stylus. In this case, it's a 4 millimeter diameter with 20 mil long. So once I finish, I can just tick this box. I'm just going to right click on this just to make sure the probe is current. This is the probe that's in the, in the probe head at the moment. So make current is grayed out, so it is the current probe. Okay, so that probe is now datumed. You see an offset here, and also the diameter. I'm also going to add another probe now, so I'm going to change the A angle, also change the B angle, hit the tick, just highlight it and click on this button here to datum. So the probe needs to change first, so it will go to the RTP pole to index. and then datum. Okay, that's completed. Now if I right click and choose put away, the head will index round to A0, B0, then the module will be put back into an empty space in the rack. Okay, now I'm going to add a new probe. Choose my A and B options. This time it has an EM1 on there with a 5mm ball. I'm going to fit this on by hand. Because the other one was in the change rack, so now it's gone to date in this probe. Okay, once it's complete, I'm going to right click on here and put away. So that will put it in the change wrap and come back out empty, which then allows me to build another probe and attach that probe onto the probe head. Okay, so now I'm going to build another probe. I'll click on add. Again, go for the plates, the probe head and the angles. The medium force this time because we have a star probe. We also have a 20 mm extension. Okay, so when we have the star probe, it will add the five offsets that are required. It's going to make current on the Z minus offset to tell it that's the one I'm going to use first. Shift key 
to highlight all the offsets. Then click on Datum. So this will now calibrate all five probe offsets for the star. Because the software has a safe volume for the reference ball, the star probe can navigate around the ball without hitting. Okay, now that's complete. I should make the Z minus offset current. Right click and put away to find the nearest empty port in the change rack. So now we continue with completing the rack with the other probe offsets. And we'll click on add, choose the correct plates, choose the angles, choose the correct module type, and then the stylus. So we have got add new stylus at the bottom if your stylus is not in the list. So right click. Make current. And then we're going to choose datum. So because we've added the module onto the end of the probe, it's not aware of what probe's on the end. So we have to make current to tell the software which probe head it's using. This is only really relevant while you're building the probes for the first time. Okay, I'm going to put that one away. So the probe will put it into the rack and come out empty, which enables me to fit the next probe by hand. Okay, so add new probe. Right click to make current and then datum. So that one's completed. Right click to put away, finds the nearest port in the change rack, which is port number two in this case. Then you can add or build another probe. Right click to make current, then datum. Okay, that concludes probe calibration.